Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for data descriptive. So here we have the situation for group data. So kindly refers to the situation. So for this case, we have class boundary. Why this is a class boundary? So kindly refers to the interval where we have the first class, which is 20 until 24 where the 24 is not included, follow with the second class where we have 24 to 28, where the 28 is not included. So as we can see in here, for the first and the second class, the limit for the first class, which is 24 and 20. So there is no gap in between the classes. So this is what we call the class boundary. Kindly refers to the question, find the mean mode Median, Q1, Q3, Variance, Standard Deviation, Inter Quarter Range, and the P75. Next, we have the Pearson coefficient of the skewness. Then, comment your data. So first, what we have to do is to find the mean. So the formula for the mean is X bar, or we can say it, the summation for Fx over the summation for F. Kindly make use of the value where we have 3176 over 100. So the mean will be equal to 31.76, approximately 31.8. So that will be the mean. Next, we have the mode. So in here, the formula for mode is equal to LK plus bracket, where we have D1 over D1 plus D2 multiply with the class size. So kindly refers to the table and refers to the frequency where we need to find the highest frequency. So where we have the 31 and the model class will be 28 until 32 where the 32 is not included. So for the model class where we have 28 until 32 where the 32 is not included so for this case for this case the lower boundary and the lower limit is the same so where we have 28 so the mode is equals to 28 plus where we have the d1 meaning that the difference between the 31 and the previous class where we have 18 over bracket 31 minus 18 Plus, where we have the second one, D2, meaning that 31 minus the following class, which is 16. Next, we have the class size. So, kindly refers to the lower boundary and the upper boundary. So, as we can see, for the class 28 to 32, where the 32 is not included, 32 minus with the 28, and we have the class size, 4. So, rewrite the situation. So, mode will be equal to 28 plus where we have the bracket 31 minus with the 18 and we have 13 over 13 plus 31 minus 16 and we have 15 multiply with the 4 so the value for mode is equals to 29.8571 round up the situation so we will have 29.9 as the mode Next, what we have to do is to find the first quartile. So the formula for the first quartile is equal to LK plus bracket, where we have N over 4 minus capital F, K minus 1 over FK, multiply with the class size. So kindly refers to the situation and determine where is the location for the first quartile. So where we have Q1 is equal to 100 multiply with 1 over 4. So the Q1 is equal to the 25th terms. So where is the location for the 25th terms? Kindly refers to the cumulative frequency. And we notice that the 25th terms is located in between the class boundary 24 to 28. So the Q1 class will be 24 to 28, where the 24 where the 28 is not included. So for the Q1 is equals to 24 
plus where we have the bracket 25 minus the following the previous class okay the previous class where we have 10 divide by the frequency for the current class which is 18 multiply with the class size which is 4 so from here the Q1 is equal to 27.333 and 3 Round up the situation. So 27.3. So here we have the first quarter. Next, for the second quarter or the median. So the formula for the second quarter is LK plus bracket N over 2 minus FK minus 1 over FK multiplied with the class size. Determine the location for the second quarter or the median. So Q2 is equal to 100 multiplied with 1 over 2. And the location for Q2 is the 50, the terms of 50. So where is the location of the terms 50? So the class is located 28 until 32, where the 32 is not included. So the Q2 or the median is 28 plus bracket where we have 50 minus the previous class, where we have 28 over the current class, refers to the frequency, where we have 31 multiplied with the 4. So the Q2 is equal to 30.8387. If we round up the situation, it will be 30.8 for the median or the second quarter. So for the third quartile, where we have the Q3 is equal to LK plus bracket, where we have 3N over 4 minus the FK minus 1 over FK multiplied with the class size. Again, determine the class for the third quartile. So Q3 is equal to 100 multiplied with 3 over 4. So the location for Q3 is 75. So the location for 75 is in between 32 until 36, where 32 is included. So refers to the situation, Q3 equals to 32 plus bracket, where we have 75 minus the previous class, where we have 59 over the frequency of the class, which is 16, multiply with the 4. So Q3 will be equals to 36. That is the third quarter. Next, what we have to discuss is the interquartile range, where we have the Q3 minus Q1. So 36 minus 27.3. So the interquartile range is equals to 8.7. So next, what we have to discuss is the percentile. So given the situation where we have the PK is equal to boundary, lower boundary for the class, plus where we have NK over 100 minus FK minus 1 over FK, multiply with class size. So location for the P75. So P75 is equal to 100 multiply with 75 over 100 and we have the location for P 75 is 75 terms So kindly determine the class for the P 75. So it is located at 32 until 36 where the 36 is not included So P 75 is equals to 32 as a lower boundary plus where we have 75 minus the previous class where we have 59 over the current class for the frequency 16 multiply with the class size 4 so p 75 is equal to 36 so that is the situation for percenta next is to discuss the standard deviation and also the variance 
So the formula for variance where we have x square equals to the summation for the fx square minus bracket where we have the summation for fx bracket square over the summation for f over with the summation of f minus 1. So kindly substitute the value. The variance is equal to 104752 minus with 3176 square over 100 over 99. So the value for variance is equal to 39.2145. If we round up the situation, so the variance will be equal to 39.2. Next is to find the standard deviation. So in here we have the square root both sides. So the standard deviation will be 6.262151828n3. Round up the situation. So the standard deviation will be 6.26. Next, what we have to do is to discuss the Pearson coefficients of skewness. So the formula for the skewness will be equals to 3 multiplied with the mean minus with the median over standard deviation. That will be the first formula. So kindly substitute the value where we have the SK is equal to 3 multiplied with the mean 31.8 minus with the median 30.8 over the standard deviation 6.26. So from here, the value of SK 0 0.4792. So the comment will be skew to the right. Or we can say skew positively. So next we have the formula Pearson's of coefficients of skewness where we have min minus with the mode over the standard deviation. Kindly substitute the value. So where we have 31.8 minus 29.9 over the standard deviation, 6.26. SK is equal to 0 0.3035. So the comment will be skew to the right. Or we can say skew positively. So here we are. And thanks for watching.